Howdy folks, it's me. Just checking that, how much space I have over here. It's me, Manic Mark, coming. Why? There's no reason. I got a few records to hold up today. It was Slim Pickens. But I found one thing that was fun, okay. But there are two stories. And they're both related, and they're a follow-up to the, the Goodwill Girl. So I got to go give the county money because I own two rusty, crappy vehicles. That's how it works. So I go there and I give them money. And I go to the Goodwill store on the way over there where the Goodwill girl works. There's her Jeep parked out front, kind of beat up, stickers, tear, and then a rag top. And I'm like, you know, because I really, I really, I saw the Jeep, I saw what I thought was the girl, I kind of put them two together and I made up the story. But now I've got the story that I made up in my head. Not like a weird stalker kind of thing, but I'm just like a little bit more curious because I really sort of only half paid attention before. So I go in there and there's the girl and I couldn't believe, it was, couldn't have been more perfect what she was wearing today. Those calf high, hairy boots, those brown boots that are hairy or fuzzy or something like that. It looks like they're hairy. Black stockings, which I like. A, a jean miniskirt, a really tight jean miniskirt, but with that little like plaid piece that comes down underneath the jean part and then like some kind of ruffle, you know? And then some kind of top that I really couldn't without like blatantly being a pig and staring. Too, too tight, probably. You know how the kids wear it. And then one of those like little mini too tight jean jacket things. Like the, what? What are they good for? I don't know. One of those jean jacket things. I just and she was there working like this. She looked like she was ready to go party at ten o'clock in the morning. It was, it was just it was <laughs> it was freaky. <laughs> anyway, so that leads into the next story, which I've complete. Oh no, I didn't forget about. My wife comes home from work last night and I show her the, the painting, the Goodwill Girl painting. And I've explained the song to her so she, it's not a total shock. But when I show her the painting, she looks at it and she says, you're not right. And this is exactly how it went. You're not right. And I said, I'm not right. She said, you're not right. And I said, I'm not right. And she said, you're not right. And I said, wait a minute, you're telling me that I'm not right? She shook her head, you're not right. And I said, you mean like, I'm not right, like I'm not right? Or I'm not right, like I'm not right. And that's when she, she gave me the best compliment in the 18 years that I've known her. And she said, well, you don't try to fit in to stuff that people think that's cool. You just do what Mark does. You're not right. It was a compliment, I think. And I, I appreciate it. That was, that was nice. So, here's a, here's a few records. David Carroll. I picked up David Carroll. And his orchestra because I've been pretty lucky with David Carroll lately. Some surprise tunes. This looks later, like from the 60s, later uh, Middle East bom Mambo. Bombo. Oh. And and who's Bobby Martin? This is a this is a very interesting photograph. Bobby Martin, whoever she is. Apparently she's made. Don't forget, I love you, I love you so. This is her second album. She doesn't seem to be known very... You can kind of tell by the way they write the notes on the back. If nobody knows who the artist is, the notes are always written like, it wasn't an overnight sensation. Bobby had to work hard. She played the clubs and she got to do stuff and then pretty soon she made a record that nobody knows about and then faded away into obscurity. I don't know. She may not have. But what's interesting about the photograph 
is that it's a close up and they didn't they didn't blow it out. Normally a photographer will like over light stuff or maybe put a, like some kind of filter, you know, to kind of kind of wash out like the veins and the makeup and it's just it's just very HD almost. And at the Goodwill Girls store, I got kind of a on Rebel, I got just one record. That was the other thing. They had thrown away all the records, like, but about ten of them. It kind of sh shocked me, but I was so enamored by the Goodwill Girl that I just didn't stand with my hips on my hands on my hips and say, What's going on here? I gotta say, going up to the counter, I'm standing at the counter with my record at the Goodwill Girl store. This one, a, a bluegrass record on Rebel. And the woman in front of me is buying some kind of kids' clothes. And she says, my child doesn't like to wear pants. My little girl doesn't like to wear pants. And the woman behind the counter says, your little girl, well, you're a grandmother, are you? And she and just, just says, oh, yes, I'm a grandmother, but I, I've raised her a whole life, and she thinks of me as her mother. And she just didn't sound right. And then, on the way out, I hear her say, she tells me that even when she was in her mama's belly, that I was always going to be her mom, or, or she didn't like it. Or, it was the weirdest thing. Much, much weirder than the Goodwill Girl thing. Mm, anyway, so the last record I picked up, not today, and came, and it's an eBay thing, but it's the Bear, Billy Muir album I was talking about a while ago, Hawaiian Percussion. I went looking for it and found a reasonably priced copy. I'm going to play something and I'm going to put a painting up. I'm not going to post this video. If it goes up today and you're like, damn it, another video. You, you don't say that. Well, you do, maybe quietly, but you ignore it and go on. Is I'm going to do a painting and here I am, I'm back. Is this, oh, does a tiki drummer work? I got to stop picking them up because he's very sensitive. That scared me when he didn't work the other day.